Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Vlogs here today, and in today's video, I'm gonna be um trying to show you guys some people um I've been seeing comments from some of my GeForce Now videos or people saying they can't get direct mouse input. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to get it if you don't know how to get it. And also, if you guys wondering why I haven't posted the setup to video, I'm trying to get it posted gonna get it off the phone to the iphone to my pc i don't know how to get it off I'm trying to get it at the best um at the highest quality all i've tried other ways but I haven't get it in the best quality so that's why i haven't posted that as yet but i will make sure to post it so let's get into the video make sure to subscribe drop a like and let's get into it So, direct mouse input. Um, this is pretty easy to turn on. To be honest, once you have GeForce Now open, you go to your taskbar, right click on GeForce Now, then right click on GeForce Now here again, click properties, then hit open file location, and then you will be here in the file location of geforce now what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for a geforce now there's going to be two geforce now here two names and the second one is going to be the one we're going to be going in so what you're gonna do is right click on it and hit open with then choose notepad and hit ok and it will open up like this when it opens you will go down to the bottom of this here and look for this right there and you should see this set to false all you're gonna do is change it from, from false to true like this that's all you gotta do then you're gonna hit file save i already did i already do did that so you're just gonna hit file save and then exit out and then you're gonna right click on it the same one you're just in hit properties then check read only mode so that's all you gotta do then you're gonna restart um geforce now and you should see it right there um direct mouse input and that's how to get direct mouse input easy as that also let me just show you guys i see they added a new setting called adaptive vsync I don't know how it is but it looks pretty interesting and it looks like something you should try to be honest um so you should try it if you want some good settings for geforce now you should try it adaptive vsync and tell me how it works to be honest as i'm not trying to go play on geforce now so you should try it and tell me how it works guys so let me just wait let me try it let me try this one to hopefully launch without okay i have to do that so that i'm not gonna do that so that's gonna be the end of the video make sure to subscribe if you're new drop a like and i will see you guys in my next video probably i'm gonna try a geforce now or something like that i'll see you guys in the next video peace Day ago, it's a mirror. Recall, it's a mirror. Recall, take the drugs. It feels like a mirror. Recall, take the drugs. It get a little spare. Recall, yeah, yeah.